Hello, 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 everyone. Good evening. How is everyone doing tonight? Oh, let's see. Glad to see you guys. When you get here, stop in and say hello. So I know you're here. I find myself here. There we go. There it is. Okay. It is Thursday night. I know. I can't believe it's Thursday night already, guys. How you doing? Make sure this is working. I always forget to do that stuff, so I'm like, let me make sure I do that now. <laughs> so how are you guys doing tonight? Say hello, 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 hello. Good evening. I'm trying to bring it up here so I can see it. All right. So what's new with you guys? Hey, Nicole. Hey, Linda. Hey, Rosie. All righty. We are all set to go. Okay, so... Hey, Sandy. All right, we are going to do a live with this sign. And I got this from the Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Wreaths and Signs. So I have her um, link right there if you guys want to know where I got it. But isn't it adorable? Okay, look. I got this ribbon. Hey, Janet. Hey, Carol. Hey, Peggy. So I found this ribbon at AC Moore, one of my local... Um, it's a local craft place. And I was like, okay, I need an ornament to match this. Okay. So I called her up and I said, Jackie, look at that. Look how, look how perfect that is. See that match? Hey, Doris. There she is. Hey, Jackie. I was just showing them the sign I'm going to use and that I sent you this ribbon and said, this is what I want to sign for. Oh, Nicole, you are? Oh, good. Well, Nicole, if you need any help, just let me know. I can help you. Hey, Brenda, how's it going? So that's what we're going to do. Um, this is probably, hey, Josie. Hey, Colleen, going to be one of the last. Um, oh, no, thank, no problem, Michelle. Hey, Carol. Yeah, it was at AC Moore. Yes, I love that. I love AC Moore. So, um I'm probably, you know, working on one of the last Reese things. Oh, my goodness, Darlene. That is a lot. Wow. Are you getting up like all all time, time during the day and night to feed those kittens? Hey, Debbie. How's it going? So, um, you guys know I make my own work frames. And um, so I put six... You know, one on each of the crossbars in the very inner ring. And then on the third ring, I put a half pipe cleaner. Hey, Kathleen, on the third one. And then I put a full one in between each one every three hours. Oh, girl. It's like having an infant again, isn't it? So we're going to use that. Let me get this ribbon out of the way. And then I have my... Black Snow Mesh. I got this um, from Joann's last year. So now I'm going to try something different. I know a lot of times you do either 20 inches, hey Reba, or 30 inches. What I'm going to try is I'm going to try doing the 30 inch ruffles on the top and doing 20 inch ruffles on the bottom. I'm going to give it a shot. See what it looks. See what it looks like. I don't know. So like I said, and you want to take, you know, when you cut your, your ruffles and your, you know, the first couple, hey, Pat, um, hey, Kathy, the first couple, like, they don't curl up this much. Well, this is like the end of the row. See how tight that curl is? You want to use these on the um, bottom row. <clears throat> I know that's terrible, Darlene. I don't know how anyone could do that either. You're going to keep all of them. How many is there? Th was there three? Oh, God bless you. So what I do is I always take and I fold because you're going to have a rough um, edge. So I always take and fold that under just a little bit so it's not sticking out. And then you just, <clears throat> oh, two of them. Okay. 
and then you just roll it up, kind of gather it like this. So what I'm going to try is I usually, like I said, either do 20 inches or 30 inches, but I'm going to try both this time. So I'm going to do 20 inches. Hey, Blanche, how are you? On the bottom. So when you rough, it looks like that. And I place them this way. And then, now the half pipe cleaners, I don't put any streamers or anything in. So I'm going to tie those nice and good. And then I'm just going to tuck those under because we're not putting anything else. Oh, awesome. No problem, Rosie. Hey, Brenda, how's it going? Oh, great, Joanne. Welcome. So that's the first one. Now, in this Joanne's, the black snow, it is kind of see-through, but I have some other stuff I'm going to put on top anyway. So, again, I just take that rough edge, fold it under, and then you want to kind of keep your um, ruffle in the middle when you do it. And this one is really easy to do because it has these rolls of snow. So, I just stay on the inner two rolls of snow and it makes it really easy. And the reason I thought I would try doing 20 inch ruffles on the bottom and um, hey Debbie how are you and 30 on the top is because the ones on the bottom because I put two they're kind of close so they overlap anyway so um, I think that's kind of make them fuller anyway hey Kathleen Kathleen you still didn't get that <laughs> that font figured out that is so funny Oh, I changed it. I, I kind of, um, I don't know. I'm kind of working on a couple things, trying to see if this works better than that works better. You know, I don't know. So I'm working on it. So that's what I'm doing. So again, you want to take your ones that are really tight rolls. Can you see? Like this one's a tight one. Let me show you what I mean by the difference too. So do you see how loose this one is? And how tight this one is? They're cut from the same roll. Hey, Jerry Lynn, we are making a Christmas ornament. It's the same roll. This one was just towards the end of the roll, and this one was at the beginning. So you want to take these real tight ones and use those on the bottom row. So that's what you do. And this one might even be a little less. It might be the very last one on the roll. So I finally started my Christmas shopping. How about you guys? Are all you guys already ready for Christmas? Did you buy everything? I'm just starting to buy stuff. So I'm getting there. I'm not ready. Hey, Johnny, how are you? If you don't get alerts when I go live and would like to receive them, just type live in the comments and you will get them. Oh, no problem, Colleen. Glad to help. Yeah, you you either you're almost finished, Debbie. Yeah, I think I literally just started, and it's all like Amazon and everything. Oh, your birthday is Christmas Day. Well, happy birthday, Christina. All right, do you kind of get gypped though, Christina, because your birthday's on Christmas? Like, so you'd get like I think you should celebrate like your half birthday, so you get presents, you know, in June. <laughs> <laughs> hey Blanche. Hey Fern, how are you? Hey Reba. Haven't started yet. Okay, then I'm not the only one. Oh, right? I know. My grandkids are getting that week. I mean the oldest is, is nine. But you know, and I have all boys. So they all they all use the same toys anyway. Joanna, just type just put live in the comments. And you have to respond to the message you get in order to be signed up. For the alerts so just type live and then you'll get a message from my bot and then you have to respond to that oh my goodness Darlene you are on the ball wow you bought one Brenda you're almost finished Patricia I I don't know I'm usually more ahead of it than that but um, I don't know this year I'm just not I think I've just got too much going on Oh my goodness, your house is already decorated. See, I have not pulled the first decoration out. 
Well, we were, you know, we usually do it the day after Thanksgiving, but then I was sick and that just wasn't happening. That does make it easy, Debbie. Yeah, I did a lot of my shopping online. I did a lot of it, but I still have a lot to get yet. Hey, June from Ohio. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So again, if you don't get alerts when I go live and you would like them, just type live and then you have to respond to the bot. And I also have a group. I don't know if you guys can see the, um, the centerpiece there I made in the group on Tuesday night. I should say we made. That was a lot of fun. So if you want information on the group, just hit group. And you can um, get that information. Hey, Bridget, how are you? Hey, June from Ohio. Yeah, I see some new names. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. So I am making a Christmas wreath with this sign. Oh, wow. Made to match with this ribbon. Are you crocheting it, Darlene? Hey, Gail, how are you? Oh, thanks, Rosie. I used to crochet, but then I messed up my neck and I couldn't do it anymore. And that's when I picked up wreathing. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, Rosie, I'm so glad. Rosie, Trixie, you still didn't get my... Okay, Trixie. Okay, Rosie is on here, Trixie. So... Rosie, Trixie is having problems. She's not getting my alerts just like you weren't getting my alerts. So maybe you can help her out, girlfriend. That's what I do, too. Yep, Johnny, that's what I do. Yeah, my husband's going through stuff. Hey, Susie, how are you? Hey, Theodora, how are you? Um... Susie is the inventor of this wonderful machine here. Oh, crochet. I love, yeah, I do like crocheting, but I haven't done it in a while. Um, so get your mesh rollers too, or your, yeah, your mesh holders for Christmas. If you guys need a mesh holder. Um, Colleen, I have not. You really don't. Um, no, I didn't. Susie, was it supposed to come today? I didn't. I checked a little while ago. Um, Colleen, you really don't want to cut 21 inch mesh in half because it will probably fray like crazy. So I've never really done. But what you can do instead of cutting it, um, I wouldn't cut it. I would fold it in half. Hey, Stephanie, thanks for sharing. I would fold it in half and then do the ruffles. Because if you cut it, I think you're going to get a lot of frays. Hey, Venus, how are you? Welcome. Yeah, so see a lot of new faces. So this is it so far. And we're going to be adding, I don't know, I think I'm just going a little crazy tonight on this one. Hey, Sharon from Nova Scotia, how are you? So I'm making a Christmas wreath. And this is the um, 10 inch like snow mesh. No problem, Colleen. Um, from Joann's. I think I bought this last year. I think I stocked up on a lot of it like at the end of the year. So, um, and I'm just doing 20 inch ruffles on the bottom and 30 inch all on the top. This is the first time I've done this. I just thought I'd give it a shot because. The bottom row, I have the pipe cleaners closer together, so I didn't think um, it needed it. Theodora, I'm using a 14-inch frame, and there is 12 ties on the third row and six on the innermost row. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Daisy. You knitted seven sweaters, girl. You are busy. You are one busy lady. Oh, Nova Scotia, but that's beautiful. So you how many grandsons do you have, Darlene? I have six. And we have a seventh baby on the way, grandchild. 
They're not telling us what it is, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's a, it's a boy. It's just a boy. I don't know. I'm just, I'm convinced. No problem, Theodora. So I have one more. I tried knitting, Darlene. I couldn't knit. I could crochet, but I couldn't knit. I tried knitting. I couldn't get it. I don't know. I'm one of those people, I, I guess I can only do one or the other. They know Johnny, but they're not telling us. But I'm telling you, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it's a boy. If it's a girl, you guys will all hear me screaming. No, I don't have a granddaughter, Susie. I have six grandsons. Ages 9, 7, 5, 4, 2, 1 and a half, and then another one due in January. Oh, wow, Darlene. And you're doing well? Hey, Carmel, how are you? No, no granddaughters. I just want one to dress up, but it's just not going to happen. I know, I'm telling you, Susie, if it's a girl, you're going to hear me screaming from the rooftops. I think, you know, all the way in California, you guys, or Nova Scotia, you guys are going to hear me yelling. <laughs> but it's not. Okay, so that's just the bottom layer. So now I'm going to do the 30-inch ruffles on the top. You have six up. See, Colleen? Maybe that's what's going to happen. You have seven grandsons, too. Oh, that's funny, Darlene. Yeah, I just don't think it's going to happen. And that's okay. I'm just resigned myself to the fact that I'm just not going to have a granddaughter. And that's okay. Hey, Sandy, how are you? You have one and one. Yeah, I just wanted one. Just one. I'm not, I'm not picky. Just one. Sandy, are you all ready for the show on Saturday? Well, I'm glad you're doing well, Darlene. Sandy and I are doing both doing the same show on Saturday. Hey, Dorothy, how are you? You have four granddaughters and two. Well, that's nice. Hey, Jane, welcome. How you doing? All right, so there's one. Oh, and they're done. Two granddaughters. Wow. The first layer, hey Jeannie, the first layer on the bottom, I did 20 inch ruffles. I just thought because there's, I do 12 on the bottom and 6 on the top, that I didn't think I needed um, the 20, the 30 inch all around. So, hey Kay, hey Jacqueline, how are you? This mesh is actually from Joann's last year. I got it at the end of the year um, on their clearance. So I stocked up on it. I almost threw it all, actually, and I don't remember seeing it. Oh, thanks, Gail. <gasps> you cracked two ribs, Sandy. Oh, no. That's not good. In a hundred years? Wow. Yeah, Jackie has four granddaughters and one grandson. Oh, congratulations, Carmel. She had her first great-granddaughter. Wow. Oh, five granddaughters and one. Now, is the one boy spoiled since he's the only boy? I'm telling you, if it's a girl, but it's not going to be. That's what I said. I'm not even worried about it. Yeah, you just want to kind of try to stay in the center. And go through your ruffle. No problem. So I just have a couple more to go. Yeah, ribs hurt. My sister did that and she was in pain for a while. All right, so you see how full it's looking? This is the side that has both layers, and then this side, it still needs um, the layer on the top. But it's looking good. Oh, yeah, I figured. Oh, it's going well, Karen. How are you? Oh. 
just about done with this. This is going all wonky here. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put my um, phone on. Do not disturb. I usually do that. Sorry, guys. So hopefully we're we're good there. So like I said, if you guys are new and don't um, get my alerts, type in live and you have to answer the questions. Hey, Sherry, how are you? If you want information about my group, which we just started about a month ago, that's what they say. Boys are easier, but see, I had one boy and one girl, but I just want one just one granddaughter to spoil. <laughs> just one. The mesh is 10 inches long, and I cut the bottom row to 20 inches, and the top row I did to 30. Um, she is due January 9th, my daughter-in-law. So she is getting ready. She's a teacher, so she'll be done... Um, Hey, Kelly, how are you? Hey, Jacqueline. You have three nephews. Oh. Hey, Deborah, how's it going? If you guys could share this, that would be much appreciated. I know. See, Susie? That's all. Yeah, they are mama drama. Good to see you too, Kelly. Um, yeah, they are mama drama, but I'll tell you, boys can be just as much drama, let me tell you. Hey, Faye. Thanks, Karen. See, so you have three and three. I know. Maybe I'll get a, a great granddaughter. Who knows? But yeah, the grandsons can be just as much drama. They can be so emotional. Oh, that's good. Oh, Darlene's saying get the Therma wraps. Okay, I think this is the last one here. Yeah, I've used those Therma wraps. I like them. All right, so last ruffle. Oh, congratulations! I know, isn't it? Isn't it the best? Right, Susie? See? I can't find my pipe cleaner. Hey, Mary. Thank you for sharing. I know they can all be drama. They really can. All right. So that's the um, first thing. Now, so what I did also, this is from AC Moore. So those of you that have an AC Moore, oh, awesome, Deborah. That's great. Uh, they have this, um, they call it snow mesh, but it's not really a mesh. It's more of like a, um, I can't think of it now. What's it called? The netting. Um, it's more like this, whatever this stuff's called. I can't think. Oh, I'm sorry, Trixie. Oh, you have six granddaughters? Oh, that's awesome. I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, whew, lost that. Tool, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. I lost my mind. Yeah, it's more of like a tool with like a splattered um, paint. Oh, I say paint, but it's like a puffy paint. And um, I really like it. So what I was going to do is I'm going to see how this looks. To add some red into it. I knew tool. I couldn't think of it. I was totally brain dead. Okay. Yeah, it figures Peggy, right? I think you kind of get gypped when it's that close. Yeah, they do last 12 hours. They're great. So it's just going to kind of pull some red in there. And what I did was I took it and cut it in 10 inch strips. And then I folded it in half and then just ruffled it. Yeah, they have light blue, they have black, they have white, they have red. Um, hey, Michelle, welcome, welcome, welcome. 
no, I don't do corner to corner. I, what I do is, I'll show you. I took the piece, like I cut it to 10 inches, and then I just folded it in half. And then I just ruffle it the same as I did these ruffles. So I just kind of find the middle and I ruffle it like that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Much appreciated. So if this is your first time here and don't get alerts, go ahead and type live in the comments and you will get a message from my bot. Hey, Remy, how are you? Hey, Sarah. And then you will get a message and you have to respond to that message. And then you will be subscribed to my bot. And then you get alerts, hopefully. <laughs> couple people have been having problems. So Trixie, I hope um, Rosie was able to help you with that. Hey, Tina. Hey, Wanda. And if you want information about the group, type in group. It's $14.99 a month. We made that centerpiece behind me there. Tuesday night in that. You know, you kind of lose your pipe cleaners in here. You got to find them again. Um, a bot, it's just, it's like a program that um, I can just, like you guys, once you're um, subscribed to it, which that's why you have to, you have to um, respond to it, is um, then I just go in and I type in, you know, like, you got it. Good. Okay. Type in, um, like, you know, I'm going live at seven o'clock. Then you guys will actually get a message in your messenger. And then you'll know when I'm going live. Okay. So that's the red on the top there. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate it. But you do have to respond. So if you type something in, and you don't respond, you will not be subscribed. So you have to actually answer the bot or it won't subscribe you. Thanks for sharing. No problem, Marty. So that's the top row. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom row. But everything is checked and don't understand. I, You know what? So you went off of the live and then went back onto my page. Because Rosie was having the same problem. And we tried everything. Hey, Marianne, how are you? I don't know. It's crazy, Trixie. I don't know why that is happening. Now, someone else did tell me that if you go into your messenger, um, you have to do a setting maybe there in um, messenger as well. So check your messenger settings too and make sure that um, those are turned on for my page specifically too because someone else told me that. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Do I do any of you? Oh, Johnny wants to know if anybody makes hair bows. Yeah, but see, Trixie, I looked on um, where my bot program, and I don't even see you on there at all, which is what I don't understand. I don't know. These things are crazy. But you can try that. Hey, Mary, how are you? Mary, my room is a mess. I'm just starting now to put some of my Christmas stuff away because it's time, it's time and um, get start to get out some of my spring stuff and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, this, this was my daughter's room when she was here and then I turned it into a nursery when she got pregnant with the first one, which was nine and a half years ago. And then... This summer, I took out the crib. You've been getting yours? Oh, good. 
Yeah, I don't know why. Every once in a while, um, someone has problems getting my lives. I don't understand why. Hey, Mabel, how are you? It's all sticking together. Okay, so almost done. Yeah. Oh, good, Pearl. You're getting yours. Yeah, Mary, I started out in our sunroom and I was doing that and then it got too hot. So then I moved down our basement and our basement isn't finished. So then it got too cold. Oh, hey, Peggy. Welcome. Good to see you again. No problem. And then it got too cold. So then I was up in my kitchen and my husband's like this isn't going to work because you know you drag everything out and then drag everything back and drag everything out and he's like this isn't going to work <laughs> so then I you know started out with I just you know took a corner of this room and then it kind of exploded <laughs> hey Sandy so I don't know I must have cut a couple extra oh well I know, right? That is the problem. Yeah, well, my daughter-in-law is going to stay home from work for like a year and a half, two years. So I do have a pack and play. So we can just kind of use that um, and see how that goes. But I can always put it in my husband's office because he's not working right now. So, all right. So that is on the top row. And then this is on the bottom row. I know that it happens. It happens. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Now, I always call you uh, Mary Tina. What do you go by? Because um, I, I call you, I think, is Cassara your last name? I thought about that the other day, and I'm like, I think I call her by her last name. Okay, so that's that. All right, now, here's my big dilemma. I know, I know, I know, I know I want to use this ribbon. And I have these other two. And I normally put like a one and a half and a two and a half in each one. But I love these ribbons. Look how pretty these are. So I'm thinking either I put three, um, three in each one. Or maybe I do this with this one and one and this one, this one, this one. Let's see. Um, what was my progression? Well, I started out when my kids were little, I did cross stitching, which I love to cross stitch and haven't touched that in years. And then of course you get busy, you know, kind of raising your family and you don't have time between working and all that kind of stuff. And then I, I guess about 10 or 11 years ago, maybe longer or shorter than that. I started doing the, um, the crocheting, which I love, 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 love. And then, um, when I hurt my neck and couldn't do it, I started doing this. I think I like the three in here. What do you guys think? I love that. Isn't that pretty? I love those ribbons. I think I'm going to do three. I think so. And then I have ornaments I'm going to put in each one too. All right. So let me cut those because I was, I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But now that I see, you know, because sometimes I have to see the base made up before I can decide what I want to do. Do I have one? Okay. So let me cut the rest of them. And this is where this mesh holder comes into place because I love this mesh holder. I do use it when I cut my mesh, but um, I love it for the ribbons too. I think it just really helps a lot. So what I do is I put my rolls on here and then this, you know, is my cutting mat. So I just measure uh, this, these I'm cutting to 13 inches. So I have one, so I need 12. And this to me just makes it so much easier. Three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
11, 12. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Theodora, I'm cutting these to 13 inches. Hey, Leah. Hey, Nancy. I know, I love my mesh holder. Love, love, love. Um, which, by the way, I'm going to put my link here because if you guys want a mesh holder, they are going up in price in January. So here is my affiliate link. Um, get it now before the price goes up or put it on your Christmas list. Did you do the red in every one? Um, Sherry, when I do my wreath forms, on the bottom row, I don't put streamers in the half pipe cleaner. So I only do every other one. Hey, Kaylee, how are you? Um, I got these. This was from a shoe, an old shoe rack that I had. And I changed out the bars because some of the, the bars that came with it wouldn't um, go through, wouldn't go through some of my ribbon spools. So that's why I um, switched them out. So they're a little thinner, but you can just get like smaller dowels. Kaylee, I am making a Christmas wreath. All right, so last one here. I got to count or else I'll mess up. <laughs> so that's three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See, Kayla, you'll have to come over sometime and I'll teach you how to make one of these if you want to. So then I just dovetail the ends. And I have really good scissors, so it usually cuts through all of it. I know, aren't these ribbons pretty? I got all these ribbons at AC Moore. And I did. I called Jackie and I said, Jackie, I need an, a sign to match this because I love these ribbons. I just, I don't know what it is. I love the black, the red, and the white together. And this one has silver, too. I just love it. Oh, let's see. And sometimes the corners don't get, but... Yeah, you'll have to come over, Kaylee. It is a lot of fun. All right, so now that I have my three ribbons here, I'll get them going. Uh, well, Leah, come, or uh, Kaylee, come over here. I'll be happy to help you. you have to tell your mom. Well, hopefully that'll work, Trixie. I feel so bad that you're not getting them. All right, so I think I did this way. Well, hopefully I will, when I get off of here, I'm going to check and see if it worked this time. Okay, so I take the three. Hey, Kathy, no problem. I stack them on top of each other, and then I fold them in half. And then I just gather them together. And then you kind of want to. Oh, I see you. Okay, I see you did the live, Trixie. Kind of twist them like that and then put them in the. Hi, Angie. Can someone type hello to Angie for me? She's deaf. Okay, so. And then I'm just spreading out the three. I love these three ribbons. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Jackie is the one that makes the sign. So if you guys want a sign, I posted her page up there. Look how pretty I love these ribbons. Oh, awesome, Mary. Yay! Thanks, guys. Thank you for making Darlene feel welcome. 
So again, these are just cut to 13 inches. I gather them together. And then, <laughs> and then I just twist them. Kaylee, you'll have to have your mom bring you, by the way, because I love doing crafts. And I only have grandsons, so you can you can be my fix for granddaughter. Okay. I love these three weeks. I really do love them. Um, yep, I do. What do you want to make? You'll have to let me know what you're interested in making, Kaylee. We can come up with other stuff. My mom says in her spare time. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so I just fold it in half and then scrunch them up. And then just kind of curl them. That helps them to lay better when you get them on your wreath. Connie, I put them in every one. Whoops, where's, I lost my twist tie. There it is. I put them in every one on the top. And I only put them on the row on the bottom that are the full pipe cleaners. The half pipe cleaners, I don't put them in. Oh, I don't know, Kaylee. You'll have to just see what you like to make, and we'll go with it. We'll figure it out. If I don't know how to make it, we can make it. Oh, there you go, Stephanie. She's 11. I know, I would love to have a little girl to, to, to teach, but I mean, my, my um, five-year-old grandson, he likes to do crafts. You guys have seen him on here. It's been a while, but he likes to do crafts. So, you know, he'll come do it with me, but my, my nine-year-old grandson, ah, okay, like flowers, Learn how to make flowers for your room, like flower decorations. But yeah, but he he likes to do crafts. So, in fact, they were over here yesterday, and I did some crafts with him. I love these three ribbons. Mm -mm. Oh, you like it, Pat? Pat, did you send me that? Um, Pat Callow is my sister. She's the one I made that angel wreath for. And, um, oh, have fun, Sandy. I'll see you Saturday. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, sure, Roxanne. It is a little intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you, um, it's not too bad. So I'm just kind of spreading these out. All right, I can't wait to get it. So that way I can get it to you. Okay, so there's the bottom row done with the ribbons on it. Um, Karen, it, you can do however many you want. I normally do um, one one and a half and one two and a half. Um, sometimes I do two two and a half. Sometimes I do three. It just depends. Like I had all these ribbons that I really wanted to use. So that's why I was like, you know what? I'm going to use all three. <laughs> um, but yeah, really. Oh, thanks, Angie. Um, Lori. Um always says there's no rules in wreathing. So really, 
you can use whatever you want. And all I'm doing, hey, Deborah from Car South North Carolina. I'm just kind of spreading them out. And I'm doing like across from each other. Like the circles across from each other. The ornaments across from each other. And then the stripes. Bye, Kaylee. Um, this I used a um, black snowball mesh. And then I used a, um, this is like a tool with a little snow on it. So I did use two different types, yes. Oh, thanks, Karen. Thanks, Sherry. I know I love these colors. I am I so love the red, the white, and the black for Christmas. So again, I just stack the ribbons and then just gather them together right in the middle. And then before you put them on, you kind of want to start at the bottom. Oh, this one's giving me a hard time. And kind of curl it a little bit. And that'll help it sit on your wreath better, too. The ribbons are 13 inches. The red is like a tool um, with splatters of kind of snow on it. Yeah, it, they, they call it, like I got it from AC Moore, they call it um, mesh, but it's really not. It's more like a tool. Nope, it's all poofs, Karen. I did, or I'm sorry, it's all ruffles. I did ruffles with both of them. But you can absolutely do ruffles and poofs. If you do that, I would do, you know, the poofs on the bottom and then the ruffles over top. But yeah, I got this from AC Moore. I got the, the red from AC Moore. I got the black from Joann's. And then the sign from um, Crazy Chicken Lady. Hey, Sonia, how are you? I am feeling better. Thank you. Yeah, Monday. Was it Monday? Yeah, my days are all running together. Monday, I wasn't feeling too good. <laughs> my grandson was sick last week, and I think I got it from him. Yeah, Monday was not a good day, but thank you. I am feeling much better. I love this ribbon. I need to go. You can't get your poofs to turn out right. Uh, well, that's one of the things that um, we're working on in the group, like your basics, how to do your mesh. Oh, no problem, Karen. Hey, Judy, how are you? Yeah, that's one of the things that if you're in my group, um, we kind of work on together if you need help. Hey, Tichelle, how are you? Thank you. Um, I can give more one-on-one -on -one help, you know, in the group. And that is $14.99 a month. And so if you need help with stuff like that, I am more than happy to help you with that kind of stuff. Did I? Oh, there's one. Okay. Must have called... Um, Shirley, I'm doing better. Thank you. I must have cut one too many unless I missed one. Unless I was too busy gabbing and missed one. I bet I did. Oh, it does take practice, but you know, there's a few tips. So, like I said, if you, you know, you're more than welcome to join my group, I give you know more one on one attention there. I think this is the last one, unless I missed one. Thanks, Carol. Yeah, I'm really liking the way this is turning out. 
This will be listed in my Etsy shop when I'm done. So let me go through and make sure I didn't miss any. And I'm too busy gabbing. Oh, yeah, I did right there. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sherry. Yeah, I I do like this room. It is it is nice. And I keep tweaking it. So I think it's finally the way I want it, but you know, I'm always tweaking it, so I'll probably tweak it some more. All right, so last one on the top then we will add the sign and then we'll do the christmas ornaments oh have fun mary thanks for stopping in okay so Let's add the sign and then we will decide um, where we want to put this. So I'm going to use my staple gun. So if any of you guys have animals that are going to jump, be ready. Okay. So when I do staple, when I staple the signs on, you can put your signs on a couple different ways. I always use my... Um, little pieces of wood here that way you don't go through your sign and I always stack two of them hey D how are you no I didn't put that outside I'm well I'm hoping to sell it actually so we'll see so I'm going to put one up here I'm going to take it to the craft show on Saturday so we shall see and it must be this down a bit. Okay. Let me just use one because it went. Hopefully, I don't go through. I better do two. Um, I use the. Let me see. I'll get my uh, thing out and show you. Oh, sorry. Make sure I don't go through. There we go. I use the quarter inch staples. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Ernestina. How are you? Oh, thanks. Yes, she is. Um, her, Lori from Hardworking Mom is one of my coaches, and she's wonderful. Um, the wood pieces are just popsicle sticks, like crafts, you know, craft sticks that you get. And I just cut them into little pieces so that, um, you know, I don't use them. But yeah, just take them and cut them into pieces. Good. Make sure that doesn't show. Okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, hey, Sandra, how are you? I always use two pieces um, just to be sure I don't go through my sign because once you go through your sign, you ruin it. So. All right, see, didn't go through, yay. All right. Oh, Pat, how'd everything go? I hope it went well. Thanks for watching. I think I, think I might just put it right in the middle, to be honest, because I really like this. So I think I really want to showcase it. In the middle, on the side. I think I'm going to put it in the middle. What do you guys think? In the middle... Or on the side. I think in the middle. I'm going with the middle. All right. So I'm going to kind of center it in the middle there. And then I'm going to feed this through the mesh. And I do try to find one of the 
center brackets, like one of the crossbars here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so that it doesn't slide around. I try to find at least one. You don't have to do it on all of them, but then that way it doesn't like slide um, around. Sonia, I think the glue gun was, I want to say between 75 and 100. Okay. I got it on that one. And go right through here. If I can find it. There we go. Okay. All right. Yes. Um, the fluff box. Yeah, it's it would be a lot to ship, you know, when you buy it from them. I will definitely show you. All I did was I took a, like a wood box that I found. I know someone else said, thank you, Sandy. Someone else said that they um, found a cigar box or something like that that they used. Okay, so that's what that looks like so far. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Yay! Okay, now. Oh, I should have put my blue gun on. Thank you. Hey, Lucille, how are you? Okay, so let me show you that while my glue gun's heating up. Whoa, let me grab it down here. Okay, so whoa, it is heavy. All right, so what I did was I found this box. See, from here to here was just, it's like a, sh like kind of a shadow box, but it didn't have a lid or anything on it. So this was one piece. Okay. So it came like that. And then I found that at, um, Michael's and then I couldn't find the lid for it at AC Moore. So when I went to AC Moore, I found this part. Yeah. It's 12 by 12. Exactly. It's 12 by 12. And then, um, yeah, Michelle said she used an old wooden photo box. Yep. I, that must have been what it was because I got this from Michael's and then I put inside of it, I put heavy, um, yep. Old cutting board. Yep. A lot of people do different things. I put old tiles in here. Yeah. Wooden. Yep. Exactly. And then I wrapped them so they wouldn't rattle around and then I just nailed them shut. Just added the eye hook and the nail and the handle because it's heavy. You just want something heavy. So, yeah, some people, yep, that's Mary. Mary said she got an old cigar box from a beer distributor and use that. You just want it so that um, you can put something heavy in it. I just turned this on. Didn't I? Okay. Um, so it holds, you know, holds the, the uh, bow down. All right. So I found these ornaments at Pat Catan's when I was up there last last week I guess it was so I want to use these let me find a little box I can put them in otherwise they're going to slide all over okay okay put them in here I know I, I saw these and I was like they will go perfectly with that wreath yeah but you can use anything really okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate the red and the black and I'm going to put it in each of the I know it is. It's expensive. I know. I got this one. I have. I use this one most of the time, and I use Shorebonder glue sticks. And a guy from Shorebonder, I guess, saw this video or something, and said, "I see you use Shorebonder glue sticks, but you don't use a Shorebonder glue gun." So he sent it to me for free. Yay! 
So, but it only has a one hour battery, so I have to get a different battery for it. Hey, Alyssa, how are you? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, now some people glue these in, some people tie them in. I think I'm just going to tie them if that ornament top doesn't pop off. I'm going to wrap it around there. Okay, so I have that on just in case. So we'll do the black and the red. I know, right? I was so surprised. I was like, surely this is a scam, right? But he sent me one. And I was really surprised. I looked it up. It was like 80 bucks. I'm like, I never get anything for free. <laughs> I'm doing well, Alyssa. So what I did is I just kind of fed it through the top of the ornament and then I'm just kind of wrapping it around there so it doesn't slide off, okay? And of course, you always have to rearrange your ribbons. Okay, so then we'll go with the black. So see, if they feel like they're going to pop off, I will glue them on. I know, right, Trixie? And then I just take it and I feed it through the pipe cleaner. Put it down there, and then I'll tie it off once or twice. Oh, thanks, Rosie. And then just kind of twist it around there. But aren't these perfect? Like, look, I thought they were perfect for this. I am making this Christmas ornament wreath. Now, I don't know if this one's going to go here or not see if I can find my pipe cleaner. So did you all have a good Thanksgiving? I know it's been a week already. Can you believe that? It's been a week already since Thanksgiving? That's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know where it went. I really don't. Okay, so now we're getting a black one. Oh, thanks, Nicole. I know I really like it, too. These are pretty good ornaments because a lot of times, you know, those, the tops of the ornaments like to pop off. But these seem really tight, so I'm not going to worry about gluing them. I always check that. That's one thing Lori says, after you add stuff, you kind of want to shake it to make sure that, oh no, what happened, Colleen? Nothing's going to pop off. Yeah, ours was pretty good. See, like that's pretty sturdy on there. That, and I'm pulling on that pretty good, so that doesn't want to go anywhere. The ribbons came from A.C. Moore. Oh, the wooden ornament that came from um, Crazy Chicken Lady recent signs. I put her link earlier up in the comments. And what I did was I sent her a picture of this ribbon and asked her to make me a sign for it. <gasps> oh, you're kidding. Oh, no. He. She was only 56? That is young. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ugh. That's terrible. I'm so sorry, Colleen. What, was she sick at all? Or, um, I mean, it's never easy, but if, you, if, you know, if they're sick, you kind of have an idea. Oh, now these have silver red and let me see I thought I bought three of these but these have silver red and black and that one was just red and black which is probably okay but huh. all right well we'll go with it oh I'm so sorry oh my goodness oh I'm so sorry Shaw's here, Pat? They stole it off your side door. That's terrible. You 
these don't want to come out. Okay. All right, so this has silver, red, and black. That's okay, we'll go with it. So again, I'm just going to test it, and that's on there pretty good. And do the same thing. Oh, man. That's terrible. I'm really sorry. Um, these I got, the ornaments I actually got from Pat Catan's up in Pittsburgh when I was there last week. It's a um, craft store up there. They don't have them. Oh, I'm sorry. What's her name, Pat? Her full name. Oh, Trixie, I'm sorry. Oh. So it's going to be a rough um, Christmas for you, too. Oh. Some people, Darlene, right? Yeah, but these ornaments I got at Pat Catan's. Silver and black. Ugh. I know we do. We have to remember. Hey, Dawn, how are you? We just have to remember every day is a gift and we can't take it for granted. You know, we get busy live, living our lives and, you know, we just really have to remember that. We can't take anything for granted. Because you just don't know if you have tomorrow or not. You just don't know. Turn that off since I don't need it. They restock their ribbon. Oh boy. Time to stock up. That's right. New or the same. Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Did they put new? Sometimes they do. I don't know. Sometimes I've gone and I like, I haven't seen that ribbon before. Oh, good, Dawn. All right. We have one more. Fried ice cream. <laughs> that had to be a mess. That had to be a mess about fried ice cream. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you for sharing. I much appreciated. And if you guys do not receive my live alerts and want to get alerts when I go live, type live in the comments. If you want information about the group, type group in the comments. And you do have to respond. Or you will not be subscribed. And oh, and it's a cro I love Pat. You know what, though, Nicole? I was um, a little disappointed with Pat Catan's this year. Now, like I said, I don't know if, um, I don't know why, if someone bought it out or something. Trixie, I'm going to check. Let's see. Nothing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, Trixie, I still don't show that you're subscribed. That's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to check on that. Okay. All right, guys, I think we are done. Yeah, I know, Kelly. I can't even imagine. Kelly is in my group, and she lost her sister to a seizure. You can't, you know, it just makes for tough times. Okay, all right, I think that is it. What do you guys think? All done. I love this one. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I know, Trixie, I don't know. 54 is way too young. I know. Okay, guys. I have um, a show on Saturday. Hopefully, I'll do okay. Um, thanks, guys. But, yeah, if you're interested in this sign, um, I put her link up in the comments. I know. I know. That was one thing I wanted to tell you guys, too. Like, see, the bottom row, I didn't put ribbons in all of the um, pipe cleaners. So you can see more here. Now, if when you're making your wreath, if you want more um, mesh to show, and plus I used three two and a half inch ribbons, you can cut your ribbon shorter and then um, you'll see more of the mesh. But you do definitely see the mesh down on the bottom. So Ay, ay, ay. So that's all for me, guys. I'm sorry, you guys, that lost loved ones. I, that's got to be so hard this time of the year. It's hard any time of the year, but I think this year is a little, you know, this time of the year is always harder. Thanks, Venus. So, thanks, Kelly. Thank, I hope, hope, hope everything will go well. We'll see. Who knows? So, all right. That is all for me. Have a great weekend and I will see you guys later. Oh, great, Joanne. Good, good, good. <laughs> Carrie, join my group and you'll learn how to do it. I, if I'm not on this weekend sometime, which because of the show and all, I probably won't be. I'm always on Mondays and Thursday nights at 7 p.m. So that's it. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful night. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.